Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. All right. You can start on uh, with this. Uh, we have completed till two sections. There were four questions till now, and we will start with section three, and we will have again four question in this section. So we'll go on with this problem now. I've shared the sample input file so that you can work it on your local system. So, please do. Sir, where is the file? I've shared it in chat. I'll share it again. Is is the question clear with everyone? Uh, sir, uh, uh, yes, sir. this session is specially dedicated for OPP only. So for VM, we'll we'll have to join the another session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for OPP only currently. Okay, sir. So can we leave, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sir, we'll be provided the link for uh, VM tasks, na, sir. Uh, that session link. Yeah, yeah. This the session link will be the same. Okay, sir. So, sir, any idea uh, when will it be? Uh, after uh, after I've completed this, I we will up update you by mail or I'll post it on this post. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, all right. Uh, not today. You are not discussing VM task. Uh, no, uh, because like a uh, few of you have uh, OPP on twentieth, right? So uh, yes. we will first uh, complete the PYQ discussion, then we will move on to VM task. Okay, thanks. Uh, and uh, will you are you recording this session? Right? Yeah, yeah, this is being recorded. Okay, and you uh, said you shared some file. Yeah, this uh, actually the file, the content of that file I have shared in chat. I have shared it yet again. You can copy paste and create a file in locally. Okay, okay, uh, got it. Thanks. Yeah.
So can you share the file again? I have just joined this meet. So. All right. Sir, uh, this meet is for refreshing the topics for the OPP, which is to be held on this Sunday, right, sir? Yeah, yeah. We are basically discussing the PYQs of previous terms OPP questions for the second OPP. Okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, which are the weeks should we focus on, sir? It is from week six to eight or from right from week one? We, mostly the thing will be from week six and seven. Okay. Two questions will be from uh, sad, two from off, and two will be from bash scripting, and it may include sad and off in themselves. Okay, sir. Deva, Deva, I have shared that contents of that file in chat, so I'll share it again. You can copy paste and create a file in your system. We are not able to see any kind of file. Uh, the file is not here. I'll I've shared the I've shared the contents of that file. You can create that file in your local system and work on it. This is that file contents that you will do, and. Uh, you just uh, copy paste this in your local system. Can you uh, paste it again? I've just joined, sir. Uh, yeah, I will paste it. Uh, the link, the link. Uh, link for? No, 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 no. Uh, the contents uh, of the file is just this text that I have just sent. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, okay. just okay, copy okay. paste this. Yeah. Okay, okay, got it, got it, sir. Right. Yeah, Devage, this is the contents. You just need to uh, like uh, redact this number. Yes, just create a file with this context content. So you mentioned that uh, the questions will be from week six and seven, am I right on that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Well, uh, you mentioned that the questions will be from week six and seven, am I right on that? Yeah, yeah, two questions from week six on set, two questions on seven, 
awk n2 question uh, mixed with bash so okay. bash scripting with uh, i can awk inside Uh, uh, sir, can you kindly like um, uh, paste the input?
Yeah, yeah, I agree. I have launched a poll. How many of you completed the question? Please answer that.
sir i'm adding uh, confidential on each line actually i want to add it on first line and last line right uh, yeah Sir, um, I'm having one doubt. Uh, can I share my screen? What, uh, like, can you tell me what, where are you having problem? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, for that uh, add, uh, like, uh, before the first line and after the last line, we have to add the word confidential, right? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. So, that I wrote the code, but, sir, uh, like, it's not working. Like, for the last line, it's not working. I don't know why. Okay. Okay. Can You can share. Sir, here, sir, uh, so see, I wrote set minus E, and then I wrote uh, again minus E and dollar A, sir, so it should work, right? At the last uh, last line, you're adding con uh, confidential. See. <laughs> Hello? Ha, yes, sir. Ha, yeah. You have to uh, escape that, uh, uh, like escape that hash symbol. Uh, sir, escape the hash symbol or the dollar. At the symbol? start, at the start. No, not the dollar. You are getting the last line. That is correct. Okay. Uh, go to that. The first hash symbol hmm. in confidential. Just escape that. Yeah. And at the uh, uh, at the end also. Like this? No, 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 not this. Like in the second E. Oh. In the second. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now try to run it. Unknown character. Um. Is it not working? Yeah. Uh, can you put space in between one and I? Hmm? Put space between one and I. One and I, and same with the uh, dollar and A. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, sir. So you have to put space between those and sir for uh, like uh, sir if i want to go to like uh, the commands previous like the previous day i was doing so sir what which command do i need to write uh, i'm sorry what sir uh, if i want to practice like say for example the commands which i had written previously on git bash if i want to access them then sir what uh, command do I I just it might be in your history. You can you type history? I don't know if it is there in Git Bash or not. Uh, can you uh, like uh, press down arrow button? Uh, and now uh, type history. Ah, uh, it's there. You can see. 
Okay, sir. Sir, what is the command history? Huh? Uh -huh. uh, Maitri, could you repeat the command for me, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. History only. History. History command. Oh, just the word history. Yeah, it's just the word history. Okay. And it, it by default, it prints everything into your uh, standard output. So you can pipe it to less command so that you can like search through it all. Sir, uh, uh, I have a doubt in the uh, in the recent uh, solution. Mm, yes. Um, in if you can, uh, we are working on the second part of the solution, right, sir? Uh, like the first part is to add that first at the starting of that uh, and the second of that. Uh, we at the last end of that first line you have to put confidential. That we have covered just now. Okay, second part only we just covered, right, sir? Uh, yeah. Yeah, ha, ha, yeah, yeah. It was uh, in the second part, yes. Okay. Um, now you uh, now if there are any uh, if there are any strings like password, capital addresses, then you have to put uh, redacted as well in in place of that in place of that entire line. In place of the entire line, entire is line, you have to match that entire line, and then in in place of that, you need to put uh, that uh, redacted. Okay, sir. Sir, quickly on the on the command, yes, cd hyphen e. One one. Why we are giving space after i, sir? I is for ignore, right, sir? No, no. I is for insert. Okay. So Can you one share? means yeah. one means it's line number one is line it, number one. Before line one, number one, we are inserting. Okay. And then uh, question mark is... Um, uh, question mark, dollar is for the last line. Okay. So after the last line, append. Append, is yeah. For append. Yeah. A is for append. And the task.txt is the content file what you typed in the chat window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was... Uh, you can name it anything you want. Okay. That is just for... Okay, sir. Um, Manan, we are discussing the second problem, uh, the uh, section three. We have completed till uh, four problems till now. We are discussing the first problem in section three. <laughs> Sir, one more doubt, sir. Sorry, I was yeah. on and off. Yeah. Uh, we are now talking about section three, uh, uh, one. Yeah. Uh, what about the previous uh, problems? Sir? We have completed one. Uh, the problem two was completed yesterday, right? That awk one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and before all of that was completed in the day before yesterday. Okay. Yeah. For the second day, third day, and today is the fourth day. So we have this uh, from second day. We have this YouTube versions, right, yeah. sir? Yeah. Basically, the this is the third day itself for uh, PYQs. The first day we just discussed rapid questions. Okay. Okay. Yes. Sir, how do we do the digits uh, digits replacement? You need to match that line. First, try to match that line and then uh, remove that entire line. You just need to regular expression. Just check for regular expression for every digit. If there are uh, digit uh, only digit in that line, then just uh, replace uh, just replace everything with redacted. You just have to do use regular expressions for that. Uh, sir, can you do it and show, please? Oh, wait. I'll show. Oh, wait. Uh, I have just one query. In the calendar, there are the link uh, for the previous sessions. But when I click it, it, uh, it, sh it says I don't have access. A link for previous sessions. Yeah, recorded session. It's available, I think, in yesterday or yeah. 
in yesterday's uh, calendar google calendar i can see the links for 15th of august and uh, 16th uh, but when i click they it says i don't have the access okay i'll have it checked okay thank you yeah. Sir, in our OPP also, we will have each session two questions. Um, hello. In in our OPP, in your OPP, there will be six questions, two from SAT, two from OCK, and two from uh, Bash scripting mixed with SAT and OCK. OK, but uh, each question have two sessions, right? Yeah, only two sections will be there. Three three questions, just like it was in OPP one. Three into two is six, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, I have that. I'll make that file. Suppose if we have line. Uh, And we, we just want to uh, replace the text that are uh, there. Just said. Am I audible, right? Yes, sir. So uh, currently, what, what we need to match is we need to match uh, the lines that it starts with. Uh, that that the lines that are uh, only uh, numbers. That starts with numbers and also end with. So here we will just print it for for the sake of it. Okay, to show to print the lines that starts and uh, ends with uh, Sir, uh, instead of that, I wrote that. Uh, is, is this would this work for all the test cases? Sir? I'm just showing this. What? Uh, yes, sir. I'll just uh, show that. Like, will this work for all the commands? Because I've tested it with only one test case, uh, the digit part. Oh, that that digit. Yes, sir. Just a second, sir. Uh, so is it visible? The last uh, one. This one, sir. Uh, digit, digit is a character class, right? So uh, to, you have to use extended for that. Hi. Um. Extended like Currently in this, currently huh. in this file, but I'll share one more file uh, for uh, that uh, <clears throat> for new outputs, right? Another input file where they have digits and all that. Okay. We'll use this file for your reference. Okay. This for multiple uh, regular expression, we can use comma. Uh, the comma is to get everything between two regular expressions. Okay. 
so the here with this you can uh, get yes, sir. yeah uh, sir the recording of the session will be available tomorrow yeah yeah okay uh, actually i'm unable to understand everything so maybe i'll watch the recording yeah yeah okay thank you sir yeah. Uh, so, sir p is for printing printing yeah i'm just printing here but you want to uh, change it so uh, I, I like i told you how to get that but now you have to uh, like how how will you uh, change it you have to figure your you figure that part out yeah, you can refer to that cheat sheet that i shared wait i'll share it again sir what was that n in front of e uh... yeah oh it is to uh, not print everything just the matching just part. the matching parts yes um sir where will i like uh, the previous uh, session like previous day when we were solving the opp questions sir have has that share that's that video been shared in the youtube yeah it's on youtube i all, all already made a post in discourse for that it's been there okay okay thank you sir uh, will you also yeah. share this uh, paper no actually i'm not allowed to share this ppt so you can refer to it here on i'll we will okay. we will discuss all the uh, questions that there are okay, okay but uh, not the, the paper itself no yeah yeah okay, okay. i'll share you the sad uh, cheat sheet that there is so you can refer to it and uh, su like search how how will change that <clears throat> no i just wanted to see the question because right now yeah yeah okay okay i will share Mm -hmm. I'll share the question. I cannot see the questions. I am asking for the OPP question, which you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. For multiple uh, regular expressions, well, what did you say we have to do, sir? Oh, you can write it in different lines or use minus E. We are using it in local uh, terminal, right? So you can use my minus E to get uh, ma many patterns in a single set command. Okay. Sir, G instead of P will replace, right, everything? No, G is for global matching to match all the occurrence of that particular pattern. P, what I did to, in, in the terminal to show you how we can match the lines that starts and ends with uh, a number. And I just printed them to show you how it works. So instead of printing them, you have to change them. So you have to figure that part out first. I shared the cheat sheet, you can refer to that and you'll see. Uh, if we write these different uh, commands in different line, it will work, right, in the in the portal also? Yeah, yeah, it will work. Okay, because until now in the assignments, I use the colon because minus E was not allowed. So we can also use colon, but I don't uh -huh. know if this colon will work or not. Uh, like, so uh, you can use multiple line, it will work. So, sir, if I want to say, for example, with minus E, I wrote the like things, right? So, sir, if I want to do it on different lines, I'll what do I have to you, do? You just create a sad script file, file dot sad, and use that. You can use a you can create a separate file okay. for sad interpreter, and you can uh, ref, like you can use that and do multiple lines there like a normal script that you write but you can but i will suggest you to go with that minus e only for now but in the in the uh, like in the portal you don't have to uh, like the set command itself you just need to write the answers for that Uh, sir, one question. Um, the second input file, what you shared, has a lot of phone numbers. I mean, yeah. lot of digits. So you have to re uh, like uh, redact them. Okay. 
Yeah. That's why I shared that. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, sir, can you kindly share the like YouTube link? Uh, what? Uh, can you kindly share the YouTube link uh, for the previous? Uh, I'll YouTube? share. Yeah, I'll share that post with. So can anyone tell me how we can replace that? Hello, am I audible? Sir, uh, we'll enter the pattern, then give the C command, like C is for change. Yeah. And then with what we want to replace, that part we'll write. Like that. Yeah, yeah, correct. Sir, for passing the exam, sir, uh, say the knock, uh, like what to practice? Like, uh, like, basically, like you have to just understand what they are trying to do. Like they will be inserting and appending that you have to change something. That was it. That is it. Like if you understand what each command does, and there will be a cheat sheet for you give, given to you already in the exam. So you don't have to like learn everything. You just need to see how it works inside. And if you are able to do these question on your own, then it's uh, very well. You will be able to. Get it. Sir, will we move on to the next question? Yeah, if everyone has completed it, then we can move on. Is there any doubt? Can you? Okay. 
there is any doubt in this question, then you can raise your hand. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next question. Sir, uh, just one question. So here it was given that writer set script, right? So, sir, yeah. uh, in the portal, when we will write the comments, sir, what will be the format? Like, what will we start with? Just like, just the literal that what whatever you wrote in double quotation and said, just you have to write that on it. Okay, so no that, minus here. <clears throat> no, it will be done by the system. Okay. If you if it says to you write the set, set command, then you have to write it. Okay, so sir, that one I wrote that one, then I then con that only within the quotes yeah. which I wrote. Yeah, yeah, not even the quotes, just that plain text that you wrote. Okay, sir, and then after that, uh, again there was another command, right? The dollar a that part, how will I write? Just in the next line. Okay, so like line by line. Okay. Yeah. Any semicolon after any line or something? No, 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 not necessary. Okay. Can you show the how the yeah. answer look for this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll show. So here we just wrote the first thing that uh, that it was it, it was asking us uh, to do to add confidential at the start and the end. So uh, in our said script, what we did just uh, we did, like you don't even have to declare this. This is for like I'm doing it in local system. You just need to write this much, and your uh, if you want to match that uh, number. Then you have to write it in it. All right. So you are using some different input file, like not uh, see the function and all. No, it was this address. You know? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, the, the the one you have pasted is the the password. Lot of password. Ha ha ha. Wait. wait. But, uh, yours is it looks different. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it was that earlier one. Wait, I'll make it like that. Only two files you have uh, shared till now, right? Yeah, only two. This was like earlier one. Yeah, what we did yesterday with awk. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. So what is this? This one, uh, the def function and all. Is it uh, the yesterday? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually wait. I'll just change it as said. Oh. Now, I have this in there, said in. I have this previous one in the in there, and uh, I'm just executing that said script using that said minus f command. This uh, <coughs> you have to use this backslash because I'm getting without the backslash in front of the confidential. Huh? Even if I don't put that backslash, what you put? Yeah. It is still substituting. Yeah, it can work, but like for it, it may throw an error. So, uh, like to escape it for uh, because we are using twice, so we have to escape it at once. Okay. So, can we move on to the next question? Uh, I, uh, can you uh, show the answer for the one you uh, shared right now. This is random file. Uh, this file you shared now. Can you just show me how the output should look for this? Okay, I'll I'll yeah. Okay.
this is our uh, side input file uh, yes yes and, and just what do we have to do here how how we have written it um, we are getting all the numbers the lines that start with a number and end with them all right and we are changing it to redacted sir uh, if in place of this if you only give like without the ending and starting so if you only get the digit uh, won't it work yeah it will work but if it has only uh, suppose there is a line that starts with a uh, character and okay. ends with a character but we we here with the question asks us to only change the line that starts and ends with a number oh okay sir so it starts with number is uh, i can understand yeah uh, uh, how do you i mean like uh, but ends with is not no it's it's given a star so how it will recognize sir? no a star is for like zero or more characters of the uh, starting one right <laughs> But so it will it will catch uh, any number of uh, characters, so any ending, number of numbers, and ha uh, and uh, uh, till the end, and at the end it also has to have a number, the dollar. A dollar is for the last thing, right? Last sir? thing, yeah. But star is for like a star is a wild card character, right? So it will check for any number of occurrence of the. previous uh, uh, the character that we have given and and this dollar will check uh, it will basically the card uh, wild card is uh, in the in the place of it it is this only it uh, if you are like uh, wait i'll show you it is basically any number of these 0 uh, to 9 right and at the end it will it will automatically be dollar it won't uh, it won't get the literal star if we want to get a literal star we just need to skip it okay so here the star is a wild card any anything uh, any, any line digit number any any uh, line that starts with, with, with a number and mm -hmm. ends with a number the whole the whole line should have a number in it sir what if the line is empty like there are line is empty there like that you don't have to do any only for those two lines you have to do like if if the, it starts with a number and ends with a number you have to put redacted and at the start no, sir, have... sir because it's saying that zero or more so an empty line will have zero digits right yeah it will have zero digits but it might ah uh, no, we have, we can put plus there all right but to plus with this will be plus is in extended na plus is in extended yes uh, plus will mean that there should be one or more right? one or more so i'll have to put minus minus capital e so you what you can do is to strictly check if there is a one number because plus as he says it's in extended and uh, like uh, we have to like prefer working on basic regular expression that because there might uh, be a chance that you not use you might not be able to use extended ones in opp so just check for uh, 0 to 9 if it if it has a single a single number or uh, a number that followed by a number zero or more of that so we are we are basically getting at least one am i making sense right now ah uh, yes so we we just need to uh, do that right we have to put redacted in this and also if uh, like uh, if there is a uh, you have to check for password as well right if it has password this string you have to change for that as well
and uh, what is the other one uh, address is there a way to uh, do all at once like we are writing it in a said script so it's like basically doing all at once only no i meant like all three in a single at the same command time. Uh, like uh, it can work only in a way like you have to in python also you have to get one command at a time right so we are start we start we are getting confidential and then we are doing all of this thing password and address we can pipe right with or uh like this is in said script so you cannot use pipes i, I just uh, pasted uh, in in the comment uh, please check uh, ha, ha 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 you can do that yes yeah but i think mine no, some i okay i forgot to there is capital letter address i guess yeah so, there is a capital letter address and there is uh, like a lower case letter okay and also if the digits have any space it will not be uh, uh, replaced right only continuous digit and only digit that will be replaced yeah like uh, currently let, let me see the questions one again uh confidential pause if or contains a list consists of only digits then the entire line should be replaced with the string redacted yeah yeah so if it uh, if it has on like you know the entire line will be uh, replaced if it has digits okay but if have like the last uh, some 91 space some then there is 9 and that won't be replaced right because there is also a space coming yeah that's why we have like this star for that Okay, uh, uh, it zero or more so it will have suppose it will have one uh, one character at the uh, one numeric character at the start and then there is a space so this will be true either way this will become like it is not uh, it is not there like right? zero occurrence of this okay but it was uh, there only it was written the above line contains space along with digits and hence it is not to be replaced as it is not all digits actually the question is very confusing wait wait i'll uh... uh in the text file you pasted now so when i yeah. try, uh, try to replace it's not replacing this and the line says the above line contains a space along with the digit hence it is not to be replaced as it is not all digits but the the only this one is replaced but the with space and digits is not replaced hmm space and that is just okay okay i think it's clear now okay is it clear this much yeah i guess yes, sir. Okay. We are detecting it, and yes, it is not working. All right, is it clear now? Can we move on to the next one? Uh, sir, can you once again tell about uh, when to write the script and when to write the entire set? Uh, like, uh, you have to write the script only in your OPP. Okay. In, yeah, it will it will ask you to see in this. I'll share one uh, the screen once again. It it asks you to write a script only. So you have when when it says you to write command, then you have to write the command. Sometimes SCD is written in the bash file itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I yeah, it is written. Write SCD, yes. Same for AWK also. Opens. Yeah. So you have to write uh, the script in there. We have similar PA and GA, I guess. Yeah, this this was very easy. Like, 
uh, inserting and appending and then replacing a text. Even the hint was given to you to Can you uh, change slowly, it. Uh, slowly move the questions. Uh, next uh, question. Uh, which question you are uh, telling is easy? Uh, yeah, this one only. Uh, this, uh, the, see, the changing pattern was given to you in the note part. Okay. So you, yeah. So it was already written, and you just need to append and insert. Yes. <clears throat> Show the answer sir, once. Yeah. Uh, ah, please, yeah. uh, please move slowly because we do not have this paper now, so it will be easier. Ah, right, right. Input one, output one, so we can check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I shared these inputs only with you. Yeah. No, but output is also given now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is fine. Also, input three. Can you please show? This. Oh, yeah. This one. you have given. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The and same. The output of this is yeah. The last one is showing. Yeah. Thanks. We can move on to the second one. I shared the input file for this question. Sir, is there a org cheat sheet also? Yeah, I'll share. In this post, I have uh, attached all the cheat sheets. And every important thing. Thank you, sir. Uh, sir, will we have access to this uh, during the exam? Like these were not be accessible, but there will be a cheat sheet given to you. It's, it's still available in your supplementary contents. You can check there. That will be available to you. 
for rock for yeah for rock and said there uh, there is that thing uh, that cheat sheet for rock and said it is there it is there in your dashboard okay, okay. i see it sir thank you yeah. Uh, but in the OPA, it will be in the code of conduct. So you, uh, yeah. uh, it won't be given separately. I mean, you, yeah, won't have, yeah. you have to check code of conduct. I missed it out last time. Is the question clear with everyone? Oh, sir, like uh, we have to uh, like swap every uh, swap every two values, like right, sir. Like yeah, you have to. What you have to do is to swap these two. The value like these two. But the student message says looks like low the value one in key one so you have to swap it so that the key one should be above and that value one then sir key two and value two like that yeah 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 just the the first the this record and this record should be swapped Sir, uh, like, uh, can you please uh, like explain the method of like how to do the swapping part? Uh, see, if that number of record is odd, you have to uh, like change it, right? Hmm. So if that number of record uh, is odd number, then you have to store it somewhere, and then you just uh, uh, change it in if the number of record is even. You'll have to create an array, no? array in this. Uh, you don't have to create an array for that, but you can yeah, create and use it. But like, it's not necessary for this. Just need oh. to store it in some value and just uh, print it so, uh, that value in the later part. OK. Basically, you have to use number of NR variable for that. If that number NR val value is odd, then do something. And if it is even, then do something. Right. So if we keep on checking NR percentage two, it will uh, automatically iterate over all NR values, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just uh, we are just checking for NR uh, percentage two, right? So it will go into every line and check that NR NR percentage two if it is even or odd. So it will go. To, it is basically an implicit for loop. Only.
So what's the status of the problem? Has anyone completed this? Not at sir, trying sir. All right. So do we have to initialize nr no like nr is a built-in awk variable right which stores the value of no, the number of record the number that uh, of the record that is currently processing so basically the line number here in which is basically the line number so uh, you need to just check if that line number is odd or even and do the operation So, sir, in the begin block of the awk script, uh, so what will it have? Like, will it have the? Like, we are not initializing anything. Uh, we are not defining any field okay. separator, or uh, we, because uh, we are. So we don't need the begin block. Yeah. yeah. So, sir, uh, will we directly like uh, uh, start with uh, the uh, like if condition like like uh, you can use it uh, at the start as well uh, before that curly braces to check if it is uh, yeah before that curly braces to check if it is zero or one. So no, like do, you do not have to put a statement in that. Just nr, just nr uh, percentage zero equals to equals to zero. Then open that curly braces. Then only it will process that block. Oh. Like swapping. So, sir, uh, how do I write that? Like a uh, temp, uh, like that, like the way we do in. Other programming languages like that, the swapping part, how will it happen? I just store it in a variable, and when the next happens, this, then just like print it. Like this? Why are you storing nrm? You need to store that entire line. Okay, so. That is a field in there. You have to store the entire record. Yeah. Okay, so stored and now what we'll do? We now just print it in the next one along with that record. Okay. So that this print part will be an end block or same? No, you have to print it when it's uh, uh, odd. Now you have to swap it. Yes, sir. That is wrong that you are doing. When the number of rec the number that uh, the number of that record is odd, then mm. print that that uh, uh, value of that record and then print this uh, the temp variable. So like this but you are not processing that record you have to process if the record is odd how will you process that 
So sir, we have to check for equal to equal to one first, right? That's yes. what you're saying. Yes. So the first record, third record, and fifth record, it will keep on storing in temp like that. Yeah, no, no. It will store in like the zeroth will be like it is currently storing the if it is even. So I'll have to store the which ones are odd that part. Yeah. Okay. And print it in even. So how, how will you print transfer. it in even? Yes, how will you check it if that number of records? Just like you checked if it is odd, just like it check again and run that logical block why are you reassigning it mm -hmm. so we'll take a different variable for storing the even records right no, you just need to print it there. You need to uh, print that. <clears throat> print it. First, uh, first check. Why are you trying to get to the solution directly? First check this one. Just remove this NR dollar, uh, NR percentage to part, everything. And check what it is, what it is currently doing. So, sir, uh, if uh, NR is not divisible by 2, if it's odd, then it is storing that record in the variable temp. Yeah, yeah. and the, at the, uh, like, uh, put after the dollar $0, put print. With semicolon, just put print. With semicolon, and put print. And put your input file in there. Oh, so I guess I have the input file I have not written at the Create first. It's printing all the odd, uh, odd things, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's Sorry, printing now. Like, I'm just uh, like not trying to get you. To directly to that uh, solution just you are printing odd line what you need to do is uh, what you need to do is what is to swap it right you have to swap it right yeah so first, first we to print first, even number then odd one right mm, yes first you need to print the even number and then the uh, wait, wait 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 first you need to print the even number the key in the in our in my file right and then the odd one so in that odd one, what will you do? In that odd block, what will you do? It, I, already we are taken uh, sir, uh, NR yeah. percentage to equal to one is uh, the odd. previous one, the temp one, I guess. Yeah, you will just uh, uh, like put it in a assign it in a variable and then use it later when it's even just print both of them print its uh, value dollar zero and then print that value of that uh, variable that you have defined so sir it's printing the odd values in the odd um, like for the previous yeah, currently one? yeah yeah currently it's printing you need to swap it right yes sir. So uh, you have stored it in a you have stored that record in your temper attempt variable. Right. Now you need to print it in when it's even. Okay. Um, so so for even, I have to check like that uh, for zero thing. No? Uh, now you. Have, it will yeah you have to check for zero as well now remove that print part for starters remove that print part at least for demonstration purpose so for the um like for the even part uh i have to Again, write that in our percentage two and then 
equals equals zero. Yes. Yes. Now what will you do here? You will print that record. First print that record. Print dollar zero. And then test. I'll print. Uh, then I'll print them yeah. like that. Dollar. Just uh, no need. Don't need to put dollar. Then it would work either way. So what happened? What did you put in there? In your test.txt, can you show? Yes. Right, right. So it's printing only that. You just you don't need to put a uh, dollar, right? <laughs> Remove dollar, dollar temp. Just. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. So, sir, if you're writing a script, then only the part which is written within uh, single quotes that only will yeah, write. Uh, yeah. That is it clear with everyone now? Uh, no, sir. Uh, uh, would you show it again? That is the show. Sir, can you explain what is happening when we are putting the dollar sign? So we have two blocks. Right. We first check that so we'll just print a single character inside the event block. And the order. Dot block. In this, can we use not equal exclamation equal zero in the second one? Aha, uh -huh, we can use it. Okay. If it's not equals to zero. Here we put odd lines in the previous, right? In the temp and the even we print. Ah, it, 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 yeah, it, it is like, yeah, I'm just showing you here. I'm just showing you the even block and or, or, or like the. Odd block. Okay, we have the even block and the uh, we have the odd block and the even block. We need to uh, swap these. We have to first place the even block part and then the odd block part. Is was the question clear with everyone? First, we need to we need to swap the even block with the uh, odd block okay was the question clear with every yes yeah. so what we did we need to what what we need to do we need to swap that even first we need to put the value of even block and then the value of odd block right so here in this odd block part, this is the odd block, right? We just stored it in a variable. Okay. And uh, when that uh, even block was uh, processed, first we need to uh, put the value of even block, right? And then the odd block. Then we will just print that where. So 
what this is what we exactly did. That's it. Is it clear? Yes. Dollar, dollar zero is that uh, current record line. record. Okay, that line that we are processing. Okay. Sir, assignment uh, works like uh, without any sign. We can use yeah, yeah. This in op, we are just we are they see this is whatever we are processing of that particular uh, file. We use dollar for that. And whatever uh, variables we are defining within op, we are we don't have to put dollar for that. Okay. So uh, that is it. But I'll just run it and show you. Or will syntax error. It's so I've got it. That that is it that we have to do. Is this clear now? Uh, sir, I have a doubt. Uh, yeah. Typically, dollar uh, zero is for uh, uh, arguments, right? Uh, the arguments in the command line, but. Here, dollar zero, how it will consider the no, value? Dollar zero in awk is for that current uh, record. Record. Right? Yeah. Wait, I'll, sh I'll just print them. <clears throat> if you're just printing everything, print dollar zero. That uh, that whole that uh, that line that entire line is your current record that it is printing. Uh, as the pointer points on the first line initially. Yeah, it uh, when it goes to that that uh, script when it this this is this uh, logical block is not restricted with anything right so it will go to every line so it will go to every line and dollar zero stores every that the content uh, that every content of that whole line so we are uh, assigning that uh, the content of this that whole line in this variable and okay. then when when it's odd we are uh, assigning it and if it is even we are printing the value of that even first and then whatever we have assigned in the uh, variable Okay. First, we have to print the even part and then the odd part. So we are printing when it's even, it will print that even part and uh, it, then it will print the odd part. In, in odd part, it will do nothing, just assignment. Uh, Is this clear? Uh, so till this point, uh, I, I'm clear, but what about the iteration? Do we need to repeat for? No, this this is like uh, we are using these normal blocks, right? It will iterate over every line. Okay. See, if uh, if you want to print, suppose you want to, uh, I'll 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 just refresh off once again. You are when you are printing it, just uh, just print. All right, and this is our begin block. This is our end block. So when we run it, it will run through every line. We have uh, three values, six lines, right? Value one, key one, value two, key two, value three, key three. We had six lines. So this will logical block will run through every line. And now when we are uh, like uh, getting, now we want to get only the line that's, uh, that are even or odd. 
so uh, wait I, when we like number of record is the line number so i'll just show it again print nr all right and uh, mm, just check it see we are this is the line number that is that it is currently processing okay so uh, suppose we want to get uh, the odd numbers so we hear what we did in nr when the line number is equals to equals to when it's divided by two if it gives the remainder one then it's odd right and if it is even what it will do what i will just do This is even block and this is odd block. See, the begin block only executes once, and the end block is uh, uh, executed when the uh, the whole file is being done processing. All right. Then when the uh, this uh, whatever inside is file whatever is inside that single. Uh, uh, like single logical block without any uh, begin or end block, we are processing everything that is there. It, it will loop through every line one by one. So uh, here we had the number of record as one, and it had it was the logical block. So it ran through six uh, through the file six times and printed this line six times. A is it clear till now? Hello. Yeah, sir. Sir, could you show that VM file? Which file? Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Input file. Yeah. It, it does, like, I'm not processing any record in here. It, this is just processing every line that is. It is looping, even, even though I'm not processing any record in here, it is looping through every line. It is just I am not doing any operation. Suppose if I want to print it. Uh, suppose if I want to print that dollar uh, uh, zero as well. Dollar zero. Dollar. And see the uh, value and key will be there. The number of record, if it is even, then it is in the even block. Then, then that that block. What are we doing here? We are just targeting only the lines that that are odd, and then only this block will be executed. Here we are targeting only the lines that are even, and then only the this block will be executed. The dollar zero will store the entire uh, record, entire the value of that line. And uh, dollar one, dollar two, dollar uh, three will have fields in it. Whatever that is, whatever there is in that record, we it will be in dollar one, dollar two, dollar three. Is it clear till now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Sir, what can be the things we can check in begin and end? So we can put condition before begin, between begin and open bracket right yeah begin blog you can uh, like uh, if you want to define something that is uh, there like if you want to begin block global variables you want to define and you are processing something in uh, in this uh, logical block so when it will be uh, going when it will go through the file suppose you want to add keep a counter keep uh, some of every every uh, part of that line so you will just uh, put a some variable in the begin block and uh, iterate over it in uh, it will iterate over uh, uh, the value of every line in there and then in the end block you can print it just like in python we have the for loop right in for loop what we do we just uh, uh, we just keep the counter before the for loop now we are for i in range if we want to uh, get in range we want to just uh, uh, print i mm -hmm. now the print i will print i every time yeah. Right. So if we were to print, uh, suppose if we want to print sum, so print sum will 
this sum will be printed every time. I'll just uh, sum plus equals to uh, i. So this will uh, do that uh, that addition method. And if we were to do the print here itself, then it will print every time it iterates. So if we were to print that uh, uh, the value of sum here in our logical block, then it will print with every line. But we want it to print only after the execution of that if for like uh, our execution of that file is completed. So yeah. we we will we just print here, right? Yeah. Not here. That is it. That is basically this is the end block. In in what you will do in awk, this is the end block. This is in the begin block, the variable assignment, and mm -hmm. this is a this is this for loop is implicit in uh, awk. So this will automatically loop through every line. Sir, what about like in, in something at the start of the file and end of the file? I'm sorry. If you want to insert something at the start of the file and end of the file, if you want to ha, at the at the start of the file, you just check if it is if that number of record is equal to equals to one. Then just uh, print it. Suppose you want to just print this and then print this. OK. I'll just remove this. And in end block, we can do dollar zero first and then print whatever we want at the end. Yes. It didn't work. Okay, this will only print for uh, if this is odd block. And then see it, it has been appended. This is odd block, and then the value of that is uh, printed after that. Yes, sir. Good. You just need to play with a uh, number of record NR, FNR. You just play with these, and then you will be able to do it. Basically, practice the replit question. There are replit questions as well for off, so you you will get a hang of that. So we we'll move on to the next question. <clears throat> This is this is bash actually. Okay, it's already ten fifty. Then, if you have any doubts, we will take this these two questions tomorrow. Then this will take time. This is bash. We have to write a bash script for this. So, if you have any doubts, you can uh, share now. I'll we will discuss these two two questions in tomorrow session. Tomorrow, what time? Yeah. Same, 9 so, to 11. Okay. Uh, same link, right? Uh, same link, same link, 9 to 11. Okay. Sir, about the previous sessions, uh, uh, is there a link to them? Uh, like, I want, uh, I am not allowed to share this PDF, but you can refer to my live sessions. Uh, there is, I have shared the questions in there. Uh, no, is there a link to the previous sessions, like the previous two sessions? Ah, uh, yeah, I've shared it. Shared it. No, I, this I shared this discourse post. You can find everything there. Shivani, could you please mute your mouth? Yeah. Sir, will there? In calendar, I I couldn't get it. Sir, will there be some practice sessions next week also? For uh, this OPP. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll take sessions, but it won't be uh, like two two hours long. Normal mentor sessions that are there, we will have one hour sessions. Because uh, like mine is on twenty seventh, mine will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it will be. I'll take uh, a bunch of session. I'll share my like questions that I have made, so you can uh, use off and set with that. I'll I'll. These will not be like these. This is for the OPP 
डिस्कशन होगी स्टॉप द रिकॉर्डिंग